Hello Year 9 students, parents and guardians. I'm Mrs Swain and I'm Director of Learning for Raising Achievement. A part of my role is to help ensure that students reach their potential and that includes offering support with revision strategies, organisation and motivation. Year 9 students are at a critical point of their academic career. So we want to ensure that every student makes a great start to their GCSE journey. And that journey starts right now at the end of year nine. Year 11 exam season will be here before we know it. So it's really important that we work together as a team, students, teachers, parents and guardians to ensure that we make every single second count. So this video will provide top tips of how to prepare for your GCSE starting in year nine, but also how to make a purposeful start in year 10 in September. At Bedford High School, we're extremely fortunate to have an after school study club. This club is open every day after school until 4.30. We know that many of our students struggle with revision at home because there's so many distractions from computer games to their phones or just simply relaxing. What the study club offers is guided support after school every single day so we can sit with your child and teach them the most effective revision techniques. At the start of your tenure you are given so many notes so it's really important you start organising from day one. My advice is to start revising from the very beginning. We are very lucky at Bedford to have a study club that's open till 4.30 every day. I wish I would have been more organised this year. you are giving so many notes and it's really difficult to keep on top of it. This summer I'm going to buy lots of files to organise all my revision notes. I wish I would have been very organised from the start. It's going to be a really big job for me to get organised by the end of this year. So some top tips from me to get started. This summer it's important, as you've heard from some of our students and our staff, is to get organised. So when you're buying your stationery for this year, make sure that you have highlighters, file dividers, plastic wallets, but most importantly, some files to put your revision work in. Top tip number two, make sure that you start attending study club as soon as possible and get yourself into those right habits right from day one. And top tip number three, make sure that you ask for advice and support. You have year 10 students who are going to year 11 who will know what it's like to start on this GCSE journey. And ask your teachers for guidance and advice and support. We are experts in this field. So if you're feeling a little bit daunted, a little bit lost at the start of year 10, we're here to help. We recognise that reading is the master skill that unlocks the academic curriculum. Throughout Key Stage 3, every child has a dedicated reading lesson. However, when they start in Key Stage 4 and they begin their GCSE journey, they don't have access to this reading lesson anymore. So it's vitally important that you, as parents and carers, support us with ensuring our children continue reading for pleasure. We recommend that your child should be reading for a minimum of 20 minutes every single day. And it's vital that our students ensure that they have the reading ability to achieve success at GCSE. The average reading age for each GCSE paper is 15 years and seven months. So we need to make sure that your child, our students have the reading ability to achieve success at GCSE. We have a dedicated frog site to help students called Learning in All Subjects Year 10 and 11. This site is a brilliant resource to help students to close gaps, consolidate learning and practice exam questions and key skills. It's also invaluable because it equips parents with the tools needed to support at home. Why not encourage your child to use this site now to make a head start to their GCSE study? Each subject has its own page containing an outline of the course, online resources to support learning, knowledge organisers and practice examination questions. Hi everyone. The revision plate in science is really big. There is so much knowledge to consume. So the more bites you take, the more thoughtfuls that you consume, the better you're going to be. So you start now. now. I've got three main themes for your revision. And the main themes are, one, we need to remember a lot of information for science. Your biggest go-to there is, is flashcards and it's painful and you've got to make them but that's the way you learn most effectively when you're trying to learn long copious sets of information. The second one 
with lots of questions to practice. So your science teachers will be able to provide you with lots of questions. They're also on the frog site that I'm going to show you in a moment. So you try a question, you mark it, you look at the answer, you look at your answer and you, you work out, do I now understand this? And if you still don't understand it after seeing the answer, that's where you go and visit your teacher. And your third one, we've got to tell our limbic system in our brain what's important. So the way we do that is we make ourselves accountable. And what I mean by that is, is you tell someone what you're going to do that evening. So in the next half hour, I'm going to be making myself some flashcards. I'm going to be learning them and I want you to test me for the last five minutes. Let me run you very briefly through the frog site and where to find this stuff to remember and where to find these questions, okay? On the main site, on your page, you have to kind of scroll down and you go to all learning in all subjects. And then if you scroll down there, you'll see on this, on this video clip that we've had a site under development. There's the, the, that site is now finished and ready for you. So you click on the science site and you will go to your next screen, which is a series of tabs. So you've got the uh, combined biology, chemistry and physics, and you've also got the separate science chemistry, physics and biology. In summary, we've got the learning, the practice questions and the make yourself accountable to someone. You've got a team of 12 staff in the science department all looking to help you do well. The very best of luck year nine with your next two years. Another part of my role is curriculum leader for English. Students achieve two grades for GCSE English, one for language and one for literature. Here are my top tips for success. My first top tip is to read regularly. So students who achieve the best in English and indeed across the curriculum are avid readers. So students who read learn a more advanced vocabulary. They, they are able to use a greater range of sentence structures and also are able to engage more effectively with the complex texts that they study at GCSE. As part of their English language GCSE, students have to write an opinion piece for example, they could be asked to write a letter or a speech or an article about the environment, animals in captivity or travel. Students who perform better at this task have an interest in current affairs and have a wider knowledge of the world. So my next top tip is to watch the news and to also read newspapers. It's important to revisit key knowledge and skills from your lessons at Key Stage 3. So for example, this year, you've studied the use of the sonnet form. You've also studied Macbeth as a tragic hero. You've also crafted effective narratives. All of these are key skills and knowledge that will be needed at Key Stage 4. Another piece of advice is to keep a writing journal, which is simply a notebook where you add new vocabulary that you've learnt, ideas that you'd like to steal, and sentence structures that you like, so you can use this for your own creative writing. It's also a good idea to have your own copies of the set texts to GCSE. So as part of your GCSE, you will study Romeo and Juliet, an Inspector Calls, and A Christmas Carol. And it's really important, if possible, for you to have your own copies so that you can add annotations and notes of your own. In Year 10, your English teachers will have a day where they set and check revision. This day will be the same every single week. Now, we recommend that you spend approximately one hour, 30 minutes to two hours per week on your English revision. So my advice is to start with this straight away in Year 10. The earlier you start revision, the more organised and well-prepared you will be in Year 11. Hello Year 9, uh, congratulations on reaching the end of your Key Stage 3 course. Um, you're about to go into Year 10 and that's where you start your GCSE course. So as a way of preparing for this, um, I'm just going to tell you a couple of things that we've got available through FROG um, to help you prepare for your journey on your uh, way to a GCSE. So if you go onto FROG and go onto the All Subjects uh, Year 10 and Year 11 bit, you will be able to get access to that even though you're still currently in Year 9. There's lots of resources and links on there. Two of the really good ones, and you'll be familiar with one of them, um, so the first one is Hegarty Maths. Brilliant website, loads of really good resources on there to help you. So the two that I would direct you towards are the Memory, which some of you may be familiar with, some of you may not. But basically that looks at some of the topics that you've been studying previously that have been assigned to you by your teacher 
and it's a bit of a, a recap on those. They're really short quizzes, they should take 10 or 15 minutes and it's a really good way of going over prior knowledge. The other one is called Fix Up 5 and this focuses on questions that you have previously got wrong. So this is personal to you. Okay, so ones that you've done wrong before, you'll get the opportunity to do them again, watch the video again, and then have another go at the questions. So that's Fix Up 5 and Memory Through Hegarty. The other one that's really good is called On Maths, and there's a link on Frog to that. So this is a website where you can complete some exam papers online. I'm not gonna lie to you, the best way of getting better at maths is doing maths, and On Maths is a really good way of doing that. It marks it for you, and then at the end it tells you roughly what grade that would have been an equivalent to. Um, hopefully those two will be enough to see you through the summer. Um, enjoy the rest, but please do keep up with the maths as well from time to time. And yeah, we'll see you in year 10. Over the summer holidays, teachers will set your child some homework to complete to best prepare them to start their GCSEs in September. It is important that you take the time to check Frog to see what your child has been set and offer some support to ensure they have it completed before they return to us in September. Thank you for watching our video. We hope that you found it useful. If you have any further questions or queries regarding revision or home learning, please do send us an email. Also, please encourage your child to follow our Instagram pages, Bedford Loves Revision and Bedford Loves Books. Finally, please complete our parent survey so that we can have your input on how best to support your child whilst at Bedford. Thank you.